Welcome to USMLEFastTrack.com. The section we're going to talk about today is from First Aid for the USMLE Step 1, 2013 Edition. Page 456. What is the mechanism of action of L-DOPA or Levodopa and Carbidopa? The mechanism of action of this combination is to increase level of dopamine in the brain. Describe how L-DOPA and Carbidopa combination becomes dopamine in the CNS. The way this happens is unlike dopamine, L-DOPA can easily cross the blood-brain barrier and there by the enzyme DOPA decarboxylase, it's converted into dopamine in the CNS. Why is Carbidopa given along with L-DOPA? The reason Carbidopa is given along with L-DOPA is because it's a peripheral decarboxylase inhibitor and when given with L-DOPA, it increases the bioavailability of L-DOPA in the brain and Carbidopa also limits peripheral side effects of L-DOPA. What is the clinical use of L-DOPA and Carbidopa combination? The clinical use of this is for Parkinson's disease. What are the toxicities associated with L-DOPA-Carbidopa combination? This L-DOPA or Levodopa and Carbidopa combination can lead to arrhythmias from increased peripheral formation of catecholamines and the long-term use of these drugs can lead to dyskinesia following administration and akinesia between doses. What is dyskinesia? Dyskinesia is abnormality or impairment of voluntary movements. What is akinesia? Akinesia is a complete loss of voluntary movements. For more information on this topic, click on the link in the description section below. For a full USMLE Step 1 review, be sure to check us out at usmlefasttrack.com where we help you review the entire first aid for the USMLE Step 1 with high quality videos and hundreds of detailed pictures for a better understanding of the material. So to learn from the best USMLE review book, be sure to check us out at usmlefasttrack.com.